one. In this tutorial, you will be learning how to create a single control, also known as filter, across multiple data sources. I usually call this type of filter as master filter. Master filter is a powerful feature by Google Data Studio that improves user experience in using the dashboard. For example, if you look at this dashboard, Chef currently have imported two data sources from Google Sheets. One is about the population by country as shown as table at left hand side. Another is air quality index by country and city. So on top of these two tables, we have controls that allow us to filter based on the country. So assuming if I'm living in Malaysia today and I'm just interested to look at Malaysia's data, but the way this report was configured is not really user-friendly, as this filter doesn't apply to all. It only applies to this table below which uses the same data source. Hence, I would need to select both filters in order to in order to make sure the entire page only shows Malaysia's data. So imagine if today we have five or more data sources on this page. How many filters we will need to select? Ideally, we will want to have just one filter that filters everything in this page. So before we start, it is worth mention that there are a few rules to make master filter works. First of all, field name must be exactly the same across the data sources. Second, the field must share the same data type. For example, if in data source 1, the field is in string character, then the second data source should have the same column with the same data type, which is the string character. Most importantly, these two data sources must be created using the same connector. This simply means that if one of the data source is connected via Google Sheets, then the other should also connect it via Google Sheets in order for this master's filter to work. Say for example, if you have a data source that connect to Google Analytics and another one connect to Google Ads, even though they have the same field name and same data type, the master filter wouldn't work in this case, as the data sources are not using the same connector. So, first of all, we need to go to the data source, which is the Google Sheet in this case, and change this country for population field name to just country. Same for the other data source, we will need to change to country as well. The next step is to go to this Google Data Studio, click on this edit data source, click on edit connection, Reconnect again. This allows Data Studio to detect the new field, which now the Data Studio has identified this as a new field and this as a missing field. So now we can just click Apply. And you will realize, the, and you will realize this dimension has become an invalid because the column name no longer exists in this data source. Hence, we'll need to pull this in again country. Same for this filter, we'll need to pull this in again. Repeat the same step for another data source. because 
we can now use the same filter for both data source. So let's try it out. Select Malaysia. And you will see now both table has been filtered to Malaysia only. That's all for today. Hope you have a great learning experience with me.